Green Acres, a sitcom that aired in 1965, stands as a classic in television history. This show, known for its humor and charm, follows a couple's adventures as they leave city life behind for a rural escapade. As you dive into this series, keep an eye out for the many surprising, funny, and even touching moments that unfold. Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about the show that fascinate you? Is there a particular scene or moment that has left a lasting impact on you? Now, buckle up as we unfold the layers of this sitcom, bringing you the unexpected twists and turns that make Green Acres a standout. Stick around for the funny, shocking, and sad facts that await. We're curious to know, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your experiences add a unique perspective to the legacy of this timeless series. Keep watching for more surprises and let us know your thoughts. We would love to hear from you. Green Acres, a classic American sitcom that premiered in 1965, unfolds the whimsical tale of Oliver Wendell Douglas, a high-powered lawyer, and his sophisticated wife Lisa as they embark on an unconventional venture, leaving the hustle and bustle of city life behind. They decide to trade their upscale New York existence for the charm of rural Hooterville, where Oliver purchases a dilapidated farm with aspirations of a simpler, idyllic life. The show's plot revolves around Oliver's attempts to adjust to farming, often leading to hilarious misadventures and Lisa's comical efforts to adapt to the rural lifestyle. The contrasting dynamics between the refined Lisa and the quirky Hooterville residents contribute to the humor and charm of the show. From dealing with eccentric neighbors to coping with the challenges of running a farm, the Douglases navigate through hilariously bizarre situations in their new rural setting. The main characters include Oliver Wendell Douglas, the earnest but often bumbling city slicker turned farmer, Lisa, his glamorous and witty wife, Mr. Haney, the crafty and opportunistic local salesman, Eb Dawson, the dim-witted farmhand, and a range of quirky townspeople who add flavor to the comedic narrative. The series achieved considerable success during its run, earning a dedicated fan base and critical acclaim. Its humor, characterized by witty writing and memorable characters, has stood the test of time. Despite initial skepticism, Green Acres became a beloved classic, winning over audiences with its unique blend of rural charm and urban wit. The show concluded its run in 1971, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and an enduring place in the annals of television history. Its impact on the sitcom genre and its ability to resonate with audiences across generations solidify it as a timeless and iconic television show. In the world of television, the 1965 series Green Acres offered a unique behind-the-scenes experience for its actors. Eddie Albert, who portrayed a city slicker turned farmer, often found himself reacting genuinely to bogus scripts. His signature what? accompanied by a perplexed expression, was a result of the deliberate misdirection from the writers. One false rumor that circulated about the show involved a luau on the final day of filming where Arnold the Piggy supposedly met his culinary fate. However, in a TV Land special interview, Tom Lester revealed that he concocted this story to put an end to persistent inquiries about the pig's whereabouts. Hank Patterson, the actor behind Fred Ziffel, faced a unique challenge as he entered the show in his late 70s and nearly deaf. To overcome this obstacle and keep him on set, a dialogue coach discreetly tapped him on the leg with a yardstick during scenes, ensuring he knew when to deliver his lines. Patterson's popularity with the cast, producers, and fans outweighed the challenges posed by his hearing impairment. These anecdotes from the set of Green Acres provide a glimpse into the unconventional methods and camaraderie that characterize the production. Despite the show's quirks and rumors, it remains a memorable part of television history. Arnold the Piggy, though credited as one pig actor, featured different pigs each season. Not only did they vary in color and size, but the first one was male, while the subsequent three were female. Despite being referred to as a male pig in the show, keen-eyed viewers could spot So's nipples in many scenes. Pat Buttram and Eva Gabor, prominent in Green Acres, later co-starred in Disney's The Rescuers. The enduring popularity of these actors extended beyond the series. The red, open cab truck driven by county agent Hank Kimball was a Ford Bronco Roadster. Updated yearly with new models, this vehicle became a distinctive element throughout the series. 
These insights provide a glimpse into Green Acres behind the scenes dynamics. From rotating pig actors to the subsequent success of cast members in Disney's venture and the iconic truck driven by Hank Kimball, the show's legacy extends beyond its television run. In a notable turn of events during the 1967-68 season, Tom Lester faced an unexpected absence due to mononucleosis. This prompted the producers to craft a storyline where Ebb eloped, temporarily departing from the farm. Such real-life challenges seamlessly intertwined with the scripted narratives showcasing the show's adaptability. Drawing parallels with characters from the Beverly Hillbillies, Oliver and Lisa opted for a distinct wardrobe choice. Eschewing traditional farm attire, Oliver consistently sported business attire with a tie and vest even while toiling in the fields. Likewise, Lisa adorned glamorous dresses and jewelry, changing outfits in every scene. This intentional departure from the expected attire added a layer of humor and characterization to the series. Examining the opening credits, the panoramic view from the Douglas Penthouse balcony offers a fascinating glimpse into the show's attention to detail. The backdrop features a newly constructed high-rise office building at 777 Third Avenue with the iconic twin towers of the Waldorf Asteria Hotel in the distance. Notably, the actual location of this view is not a Park Avenue penthouse, but likely somewhere around 1st Avenue and East 48th Street, challenging the conventional expectations associated with such scenes. These behind-the-scenes insights, from Tom Lester's unplanned hiatus to the deliberate sartorial choices of the main characters and the meticulous set design, contribute to the show's unique charm. The fusion of real-life incidents with scripted narratives exemplifies the creative and pragmatic approach taken by the production team. This blend of authenticity and intentional choices forms an intriguing backdrop to the enduring appeal of the series. Creator Jay Somers, known for his work on Petticoat Junction, laid the groundwork for Green Acres in the second season of the former. The characters Doris, Fred, Newt, and the iconic Arnold, the piggy made their first appearances in non-syndicated shows a year before its premiere. The debut episode, Oliver Buys a Farm, marked the beginning of this unconventional journey. Eva Gabor shared a humorous tidbit about the cow portraying Eleanor, revealing its peculiar reaction to her perfume. The cow allegedly had a rather timely response to her arrival, creating a memorable behind-the-scenes anecdote. In a revealing late interview, Mary Grace Canfield, who portrayed Ralph Monroe, the female construction worker, disclosed ongoing clashes between show creator Jay Somers and network executives. They were concerned about challenging traditional gender roles, particularly the perception of women in blue-collar jobs. This conflict persisted throughout the series, adding a layer of complexity to Ralph's character and the overall dynamics. These insights from the inception of characters on Petticoat Junction to quirky behind-the-scenes stories of Eva Gabor and Mary Grace Canfield shed light on the unconventional and often contentious nature of its creation and production. The clash between creative vision and network expectations played a significant role in shaping its unique charm. The ensemble cast of Green Acres showcased remarkable longevity with several members living well into the next millennium, the oldest, Hank Patterson, passed at 86 in 1975. Tom Lester, the youngest, lived until 81 in 2020. Notably, director Richard L. Baer, overseeing most episodes, reached 101 in 2015. Their enduring contributions underline the show's lasting impact. Eddie Albert and Eva Gabor's on-screen chemistry mirrored their close friendship off-screen. When Gabor passed away in 1995, Albert, deeply affected, joined her at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery. This personal connection added a genuine touch to their portrayal of the husband and wife duo. Jay Somers adapted Green Acres from his 1950 radio show, Granby's Green Acres. It emerged as a TV series with Petticoat Junction's B. Benedict guest starring. This adaptation reflects the show's roots in radio, a testament to its dynamic evolution. In summary, Green Acres' enduring cast longevity, the genuine connection between Albert and Gabor, and its radio origins contribute to its unique legacy in television history.